107. First we start with the blanket, which is known as the prime. We roll it into a bag, and then we set that aside. Then we continue on to the seconds. Nice yarn. She's, she's never been shorn before. Make it all prime. show you what we look for in an animal. We have staple lengths, crimp, Where am I getting and fineness. Yep. Now we move on to gentle trimming of the neck. <laughs> Miriam's being very good right now. Thanks, girl. Part that generally alarms the animal as they think we're going for their vein. Oh, right. You have to talk very sweetly to them so they don't think you're trying to hurt them. Now we go back down the neck. Go to the back leg. He's got it. He gets up on that. And he doesn't want to come down off of it on his own. I know. Once we reach lower down the legs, we stop collecting the fiber because it becomes too coarse. Now we flip the animal like this. Now we can take the rest of their fiber. Now we shear in the opposite direction this time. You have to be very careful while harvesting the fiber not to break the crimp. Once again, we move down the leg. One of the most important jobs is holding the animal's head so she doesn't get... Another job is shearing, which is the person with the clippers. Obviously, this is my mom. Then we have the fiber collectors, Lori and Carolyn. Smile. <laughs> Believe it or not, throughout most of this, the animals seem to remain calm. Other times, the animals aren't so calm, like Ezzy. Take a listen. This sound displays that they're scared. <laughs> if you're wondering what the sock is for, it's to collect her spit so it doesn't get all over everybody. We also have to shear the animal's chest. If their chest is wide enough, we use the clippers. But otherwise, my mom is very careful and uses the scissors. By During this phase of shearing, one person has to hold the leg up, like Lori is right now. The other person has to shear the leg, the chest, and then somebody else has to hold the head. We also have to oil the clippers so they stay running properly. We're in luck because my mom is showing Carolyn how to shear the tail right now. Hold it with my my thumb so I don't cut it off because that would be ugly. And then I do. <laughs> my mom's crude sense of humor shows through again. And then I just trim about an inch. I've been cutting the tails fairly short so that they don't get burdock and hay in them and get all crappy and yucky. This fiber is also garbage, so Lynn is going to throw it out. It's bird nest, it's not garbage. Oh, yes, you know it. Bird nest.
See, hear the birds chirping? They're waiting. They're excited. The groan doesn't show well. Also the humor in shearing. What's green and stinky? Just Gale. After we shear Ezzy. If you were wondering what my mom was talking about, about Gale being green after we shear Ezzy, well, Ezzy's the screaming one who spits a lot. Right now, Dan is cutting the nails, another job that's very easy to do while the animal is tied up on the table. We also trim their head or top knot so we can get rid of all the burdock and excess hay. Don't have hardly anything. Now, hers isn't too bad, but I've been cutting them fairly short. This is also done with scissors. And once again, the fiber is used for nesting. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. That way, I can, you can fish. They look like somewhat of a dome head after we're done with them. Lastly, before we take them off the table, we make any final touch-ups with the scissors, such as what my mom is doing right now. Finally, the animal is ready to take off the table. We loosen their bondings, and then Danny lifts them off like this. Not like that. Then we set them on the floor and check for any final touch-ups. Looks like Miriam is ready to go. Isn't she beautiful? Danny also administers shots. This is to protect the animal from any worms they might get, such as meningeal, hookworms, pinworms, and whipworms. It's generally a pretty easy process, and now Ezzy will go back with the animals. Now we put the animal back in, and there's a buzz about the whole stall. Even Bruno wants to know what's going on. <laughs> the clucking is a way of greeting the animals. Others will sniff and buck to establish a pecking order. Looks like Miriam's been accepted.